Hello friend, welcome back. Today I have a little bit of a different style of video for you guys. Today we are taking a look at my home office. It's a really small, just over 100 square foot little space. This is where I do all of my video production work, editing, planning, and then now it's been used to shoot these YouTube videos. So I just kind of wanted to take you guys into this setup. And rather than focusing on all of the gear and like slow-mo b-roll that a lot of these office tours often focus on i just wanted to show you guys some practical things that i've really loved in kind of making my space work for me so that's the hope i'm actually going to do this kind of vlog style because i felt like it was the most efficient just to take a camera around and show you guys all the different things it's filmed on a wide angle lens so it's definitely going to look you know a little bit bigger than it actually feels in here but the hope would be that you'd be able to take something from this make your space more efficiently work for you and be inspired in some way so without further ado we will get into the little tour okay so first up we have the desk this is a sit stand desk and this was just i think the cheapest legs that i could find on amazon i made this top for it for with some wood from home depot it has worked really great so you can go up and down with it i honestly mostly sit but it is nice to stand every now and then. Next functional thing is just this little drawer. This is a recent addition just to fit some things that I'm regularly needing to use. I don't like having them out on the desk. So just this little drawer, super handy. And then from there, I think the next most useful thing is just this little kind of stand that I built for underneath my monitor. And so the point here was to kind of hold everything that I need to hold on my desk. So this first section over here is hard drives and these are easily plugged in with these cables right here. So I can simply plug in different drives. I mainly use these for backups and I have two separate cables here that I can use to plug these in at any point. And they're also hot swappable, so I can easily take them out and switch with other drives if I'm needing to access footage. And then I edit off of an SSD, which just tucks right in there so I can take that if I am going anywhere. This also fits my audio interface that connects to my studio monitors. And then I have it command stripped to this four slot SD card reader. So this is super helpful. I can run four SD cards at once to transfer as well as the slot on my MacBook. And so up to five cards at once. And then on top of that is the CF Express type B reader. So the main point here was just to be able to get home from a shoot, put in all the cards and transfer everything at once. Um, while I sleep so I don't have to switch out all the individual cards. So all this stuff is kind of connected together in here. So it's all super sturdy. I will show you guys some pictures of the back. It doesn't look the best, but it is super functional to me. This next part isn't the easiest to see, but this monitor is on an arm. And what I wanted to show you guys is this anchor hub right here. Everything is connected to this, including a power, HDMI, all my different USBs and as well as the cables kind of over here that connect to the monitor. Those also are routed into here, so that gives me as many ports as possible to plug in those hard drives down there. And the convenient thing about this, it can swing like that, but it is all connected to this cable right here. So I just plug this one cable into my MacBook and everything connects. And then if I want to, you know, add these drives, those automatically connect. And the only other thing that I have plugged in is my SSD. I just have this ready so I can grab it because I edit a lot on the go. Um, and I also want that plugged in directly so it is as fast as possible. But the system seems to work really, really well and kind of keeps everything really clean. When it comes to cable management, I definitely don't have the cleanest desk, but it is definitely functional for me and I don't need to obsess over it. And so you guys will see that the desk is plugged into one outlet here. The other one just runs to the closet that I'll show you guys in a little bit, but everything is somewhat organized under here. Um, the main thing being this power bar from Harbor Freight that's on the back that gives me outlets for everything that I need to plug in and a few extras that I'm not using. And then I have a couple of these cheap kind of plastic cable organizers that are secured to the back and those get the job done for me. They're definitely not heavy duty or anything, but overall my main point in organizing cables was not to have them look the prettiest, but just from, you know, this angle of the desk, I feel like it looks pretty clean and I am really happy with how that looks. 
Next thing I wanted to show you guys is just kind of my setup for filming YouTube videos. And so I actually just place my camera right here in the camera rig. It just sits right on my studio monitor and it's honestly the perfect height for my talking heads for YouTube. I have the X-T3 in there right now as I'm usually filming on the X-H2S, but I'm currently using it right there. But it just usually sits right here. Um, it's a great kind of angle for me. And then when it comes to lighting, I wanted to show you guys this. So I actually have this little kind of microphone arm thing that's mounted to the desk right here. And this is actually where I place my key light. So if we go into the closet in here, we'll open this up. And I actually just use one of these two foot tube lights from Nanlite. And the main idea here is the magnet just goes right there. And I typically close the closet door. And then from there, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, I can't do it with one hand, but from there, I actually just raise this up as high as it will go. And then I just simply turn on the tube light and usually have it at 5,600 Kelvin and 100%, but this literally just bounces off that wall right there and is what key lights all of my YouTube videos. So I went with this because it is super minimal. I don't have space in here for like a massive soft box that you see a lot of YouTubers using. And this is plenty bright for my needs. I can simply plug it in right here if I need to give it power if it's gonna die, but a lot of times it's just great on the battery power. So this is just on a magnet. So when I'm done filming, I can simply take this off and collapse that and then put it back in the closet. The next kind of YouTube filming advice that I have as it relates to the home studio is this window. So if you guys see super bright, this is kind of the light in the morning, but sometimes and often this is way too bright to film YouTube videos. So if you guys come over here to my couch underneath, you will see I actually just have this cheap kind of foam core board from craft store. And so this actually folds out and this is actually the perfect size for a lot of windows. And so I won't do it right now, but a lot of times I will stick this behind the curtain and I can actually expand it out, but it actually blocks all of the light coming in. So a lot of times that's where I'm using this key light and I'm using this foam core to kind of cover up that window. If it's nighttime or it's in the afternoon, this isn't a problem, but that's just a really quick kind of hack that I use. It's super cheap. You can pick these up for a couple bucks. And the last kind of YouTube thing that relates to my home office is just the practicals in the background. So I have this little remote and these are really, really cheap, but I can simply use these kind of simple plugs to turn those lights on and off I keep another remote just right over here that I can use to turn them off at nighttime. But again, super helpful just if I want those on or off and that lives just in this drawer right here. Next, we're gonna talk about storage. So the first thing is just this little dresser right here. This replaced a tool cart that I had in here, but essentially I use this to store, this is all my audio gear up here. And then this is kind of my extra cameras and lenses and lens caps, anything I might need. And then I actually use this one just for a lot of random things that I'm always grabbing for. Those two my wife uses. And then this one right here is just other kind of general storage for a bunch of odds and ends things. Super helpful just to have a place to store gear. And then we'll move on to the closet. There is so much packed into this closet and it definitely doesn't look amazing, but in short, backpacks, I have a small file cabinet for a bunch of random stuff, not organized. Um, the main thing in here that I utilize is just this kind of charging station. And so I have this power strip, place to charge my batteries, then a bunch of different USB, USB-C connectors to charge any batteries or anything. So that is right there. And then the rest of it is just a bunch of random gear kind of have tucked I play drums and so I actually store my drum kit down there. This is an old TV that I've used a bunch and I'm just packing kind of a lot in here trying to get the most out of it. So definitely not the cleanest, but I definitely don't think it needs to be and it is super functional for how I use it. Last thing I wanted to talk through was just some of the other furniture. And so the desk chair, the couch, 
the dresser, this kind of record player holder over here, all of this stuff was either thrifted or found with Facebook Marketplace. And so I just encourage you guys to be patient. It's really easy to find some really sweet deals if you guys are in a major city. I'm in Kansas City and yeah, I've just found this stuff, kind of collected it over the years and it's been really great for my use cases. The desk is also partially homemade, so just bought the wood from Home Depot, sanded it, finished it myself, put it on the cheapest standing desk legs I could find, and overall, I really love the vibe. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I know it is a different style than what I typically post here on the channel. I am gonna leave some links down below to as many things as I can list. If you guys are interested in checking out any of the things that I talked about in the video, please let me know any questions or what you liked about this setup or what you might be able to take and use in your home office environment. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.